And I'm talking to you today from my book, The Power of a Praying Grandparent. This is episode four, Pray for Your Grandchildren to Have God's Favor. One of the many great blessings God gives us when we live His way is His provision. King David said, I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his descendants begging bread. That's Psalm 37, 25. When we are merciful and generous, our descendants are blessed. That's Psalm 37, 26. God does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever. But the descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. It says in Psalm 37, 28. God's promise for those who reverence, love, and obey him is that he will provide for them. Psalm 112, 2 and 3. God's promise for those who reverence, love, and obey him is that he will provide for them. Psalm 112, 2 and 3 says, the generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in his house. This is not a guarantee of being wealthy in money and belongings, but we can have wealth in so many ways, such as good health, health-giving food, appropriate clothing, a place of safety in which to live, having things that don't break down, God promises to provide for us, but he doesn't drop groceries from the ceiling. Often he provides by opening doors of opportunities to good work and enabling us to do it. So we must pray for the ability of our grandchildren's parents to be able to take care of the needs of their children. First of all, Ask God to show the parents of your grandchildren what they should be doing in their own work and how they can best support their family. Ask God to bless the work they do and to give them a sense of balance in how long and hard they work. God's word says, do not overwork to be rich because of your own understanding, cease. Will you set your eyes on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward the heaven. Says that in Proverbs 23, 4 and 5. Pray that the parents will not be workaholics who sacrifice their children's well-being on the altar of seeking riches that disappear instead of making their children their main priority. We also don't want poverty and painful struggles for our children or grandchildren. We want God's provision for them, nor do we want so much wealth for them that they lose sight of their priorities and feel they don't need God. Pray that God will bless the work of your grandchildren's parents so they can always provide for the needs of their children and pray that they will always recognize where their help comes from. One of the most important aspects of a child's well-being is having a, a sense of who God made him or her to be. And that happens as the child grows to understand who God is and that he or she is his child. When children know they belong to God and he is their heavenly father, it helps them see who they are in relation to him. God said to his people, I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on your offspring. One will say, I am the Lord's. Another will write with his hand, 
the Lord's. This is from Isaiah 44, 3 and 5. In other words, they will know who they are because they know who God is and that they belong to him. When people know who God made them to be, that knowledge gives them a sense of purpose. And that sense of God-given purpose keeps them from wasting their life pursuing things that are meaningless. They may not know the details of the purpose God has for them, but that will be revealed to them once they receive Jesus and walk with him and seek him for that revelation. When they are very young, it can be enough to simply know that God has a great purpose for their life. That way, they won't follow after anyone or anything trying to lead them to stray away from God. God gives us his spirit so we can know him and understand all he has given us, including our purpose. It says that in 1 Corinthians 2.12, when children don't know who they are or who God made them to be, they can easily get off the path God has for them or never get on it in the first place. That's when they may follow after anything. They can become insecure, frustrated, anxious, unhappy, or depressed. They try to make their life happen, and when it doesn't go the way they think it should, in other words, they don't find the fulfillment, admiration, and success they are seeking, they become critical of themselves. They compare themselves to others and feel like a failure when they think they don't measure up. When children or young people have a clear sense of who they are, they don't throw their lives away on something insignificant at best or damaging at worst. They don't look to the world to validate them. They look to the Lord to guide them. Young people who are confused about who they are and what their purpose is need our prayers. We can pray that God will bring clarity to them because confusion is never from the Lord. We must pray that God's voice to them will not be drowned out by the world's noise, but that they will clearly hear his voice to their heart, leading them in the right direction. If you have grandchildren who have grown up without any sense of purpose, ask God to give them a vision now for their life so they won't live aimlessly it's dangerous for a child to have no sense of purpose. That's true for anyone. Anytime a grandparent tells me they feel as though they don't have a purpose anymore, I tell them, if you have grandchildren, you have a purpose. And God will use every gift and talent you have to fulfill this special calling. I'm not saying that is your only purpose, but do not say you do not have one. If you ever feel that way, please know the very reason I have written this book is to help you fulfill your calling as a prayer warrior for Christ on behalf of this next generation who needs your prayers so desperately. God knows the call he has on each of your grandchildren. He sees the gifts and talents he has put in them in order to achieve that. We may not yet see them, but he does, and he will reveal them to us as we seek him for that knowledge. And he also knows no one will pray for them with the fervency that you will. This is why we must pray that our grandchildren will always have reverence for God and never forget what great things he has done. That's from 1 Samuel 12, 24, where children have already gone after the world's idols and brought destruction on themselves. God can redeem those situations. If that has happened to your grandchild, or child for that matter, pray they will be brought to repentance before God. 
the good news is that even when they make bad choices, there is still a blessing for them when they turn around and follow God. They may have to pay for their transgressions, but not forever. So don't stop praying for them to be brought back to the Lord. Another very important thing to pray about for your grandchildren is that they have godly friends. We have all seen how the entrance of one ungodly friend into a child's life can influence him or her in a negative way. It doesn't necessarily mean that the friend is a bad person, but perhaps the two of them together do not produce good results. That's why no matter what age our grandchildren are, we must pray for them to have good, godly, kind, believing friends. The Bible says that we are not to be yoked together with unbelievers. That's from 2 Corinthians 6.14. That doesn't mean our grandchildren can never be around friends who do not believe in God. It means that their closest friends, the ones who have the most influence in their lives, should be believers. The Bible says the righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads him astray. Proverbs 12, 26. Would you pray with me about this? Oh Lord, I ask that you would bring godly friends into each of my grandchildren's lives. I know how the wrong friends can lead them away from you and your laws. Your word says so much about the benefits of godly friends. Take away from my grandchildren any attraction in them toward friends who will cause them to stray away from the path you have for them. Give them a clear vision of the consequences of spending time with ungodly friends that could lead to their destruction. Give them strength to resist going down that path where friends who are a bad influence have already entered their life. Cause my grandchildren to pull away from them. Break up those friendships and remove any bad influence from their life. Do not allow the plans of evil to succeed in any way in any one of my grandchildren through their influence of ungodly friends. I lift up my grandchildren's parents to you. Oh God, I pray they will always have good work and that their work will be blessed with success and financial rewards. Protect them from poverty, but also keep them from the kind of wealth that could draw their hearts away from you. Enable each one of my grandchildren to understand who you made them to be. Reveal to them the knowledge of who you are so they can understand who they are in relation to you. Help each grandchild to know that you are their heavenly father and they are your child. And as such, they have an inheritance from you. Give them a clear vision for their life and a sense of why they're here. Teach them to clearly know that they were created for a purpose. Help them understand what that purpose is. Keep them far from worldly distractions that are a hindrance to all you have for them. Enable them to live their lives with a distinct sense of your calling so they don't become sidetracked away from your plans for their life. Give each one of them the ability to identify the gifts and talents you have put in them. Teach them how you want those gifts to be dedicated to you and used for your glory. Reveal it to their parents as well, so they know how to nurture and develop those gifts and talents. Reveal it to me too, so I know how to pray and to encourage them. Enable my grandchildren to hear the call you have on each of their lives. Use them to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Show me how to encourage them in whatever you've called them to do. I pray they will turn to you for guidance and clarity. I ask that you, the Father of glory, will give to my grandchildren the spirit of wisdom and revelation 
so they can understand your calling on their lives. Ephesians 1.17 Give them the ability to see that they would never want to sacrifice all you have for them by not living your way. In Jesus' name, I pray. Oh, you know the world is filled with idolatry. Idolatry is exalting anything other than God. God blinds the eyes of people who worship idols so that they are unable to see the truth. The Bible says that God has shut their eyes so that they cannot see and their hearts so that they cannot understand. That's from Isaiah 44, 18. But God never forsakes those who do not forsake him. 1 Samuel 12, 22. We must always pray that God will teach our grandchildren how to live in this world without being drawn into its darkness. We need to pray that God will give them the strength to be led by His Spirit so they separate themselves from anything that is detestable to you and stay separate from the traps of the enemy luring them away from everything God has for them.